Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Wix.com to create a real simple e-commerce site. So I'm going to go to Wix.com and what I'm going to do is sign in. And for me, I'm just going to continue with Google. I mean, there's other ways you can get in, obviously, but I'm going to use my Google account to get in. And I might have to give some permissions, and that's okay. And we are in. Now, I've used Wix before, so it might look slightly different when you first come in. Uh, for me, I've used this before. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to create a new site. Now, yours by default might already... Uh, do that it might go to create new new site for the first time so let's go into here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly make an e-commerce store so something with like a like a shopping cart and you can buy items so the way that I would do it is I would go under online store and we've got two choices here when you get to this screen so if I go with the right side it says choose your website with or create your website with the editor you start with a template uh, basically, you're given a template and you're expected basically to change it up, make it your own. This is this is good for pretty much every site possible. This one on the, on the other side though is really neat and this one I'm going to show you today. The Wix ADI. Now Wix ADI is sort of like an AI website builder and it works really, really, really well and it's kind of crazy what it can do for you. So I'm going to demo that for you today in this video. So what kind of a store do I want to make? So what I'm going to do is, you can, whatever, you can think of whatever kind of store you want. So let's imagine that, uh, let's imagine I want to do a bowling store. So maybe you want, you want to be able to sell bowling balls and shoes and stuff, right? The trick with the ADI that I've noticed is that you need it to be able to, you need to be able to select it. So if I can select it like I did there, then it's really good. If I'm going to try to uh, do something very specialized, like I live in Thunder Bay, um, one of the things uh, that we have here is something called the sleeping giant. So if I wanted to do like sleeping giant uh, toys, for example, it doesn't recognize that. It's not going to work. I could do a toy collector or a toy manufacturer, but you basically need it to recognize this. And if it doesn't recognize it, then I would suggest you use a template and basically make it from scratch. So let's go with the bowling one that I was thinking about earlier. Uh, this one here, the online bowling supply shop. Okay, so let's go with that. And again, you want to make sure that you can select in the list, otherwise it won't know what to do with it. Okay, so what kind of things do we have on our site that we can add in? We can add a chat, that's by default. We can have a blog. So I'm going to add a blog onto mine. These are some other features that it suggested that I, I can add in. I can add in bookings. This might be really good, like, uh, let's say I was going to do a website for a hair salon. Bookings would be great. I could have appointments, right? I could have some events on it. I can have videos. Um, maybe I want to have a live Instagram feed on my page, which would be cool, or a forum. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do in here. Menus, so if you're going to do a restaurant, this might be really good. That's actually new. I haven't seen that one before, so it's possible that they might have added more things in. Reservations, music. All kinds of things. So I'm just going to stick for now with the chat and the blog. Okay, I'm going to call this thing Rosan's Bowling Shop. So you can call it whatever you want. <laughs> now, if you have an existing website already, you could type that in. And what it would do is it would grab all of your pictures and any text that's on your website. It could do that. You can also search for it. So like if Rosan's Bowling Shop exists, like if that really existed, maybe it could grab your address and your postal code and phone number and things like that uh, from Google. But I don't have any of these. I'm just making this up. But if I did have a business, I would definitely type those in. Okay, now what else do I have here? If I have a logo, I can put it in here. You can click here to upload a logo. Um, an address, so I can type in an address. So I could put in 555 Home Street or whatever your address is going to be. Okay, the phone number... Five 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 five. You could add in like Facebook feeds and things like that. Uh, but obviously, if you're making a real site, you would put in the real things, a real address, a real phone number, right? I'm just doing it as a demo. Okay, let's click next. 
Okay, now in my particular site, it's given me some options of what I can do here. I'm going to go with this play one. I think that's kind of cool. Yours might look different depending on what your store uh, you, you've, you're trying to build is. Okay, pick your favorite home page design. It's still loading here. So it's given me three options. I kind of like the one right here, this design. So let's go with this one. And let's see what it comes up with. Takes a minute because it's actually building a website for me, which is pretty amazing. And it'll it'll write paragraphs and everything and put images in that suit my theme. All kinds of neat things it does. So here we go. Here's my website. So I've got bowling ball images right here, new products, great deals. Uh, it's got some stuff, some stuff for sale here. About my bowling shop. It's got a little paragraph about how we started. Since the first day in business, Roseon's bowling shop has been offering customers best selection of products at unbeatable prices. Pretty cool. So this you can go and change all this stuff, obviously. You know, you can go and edit this. You definitely can type in a paragraph and change it to, to suit your needs however you want it to look. Uh, you can change everything. All the pictures you can change. If you're unhappy with this photo, you can change it. So you just replace it or adjust it. You can add videos in there if you wanted. Lots and lots of cool things you can do. So you just click and make your edits however you want. And the thing about Wix and a lot of different um, websites are like this nowadays. They build a site sort of like in chunks. So this is a chunk right here, uh, like a different section. This is a section for the store. This is another section right here. So you can see how like they're, they're they're actually different chunks, right? This is the contact area. So it's like it's like multiple pages in one. Now that's pretty straightforward. I want to show you now how to actually put your items into your store. So right now I got some default items. I don't really like those. I'm going to put some actual bowling items in. So the way I can do it in Wix is if you go under Manage App, the store and the blog are actually apps that are built in. So let's go to the store first. And I'm not going to show you every little thing about the store. There's all kinds of things where you know you can attach credit cards and all that. And I'm not doing I'm not doing that. I just want to show you how to do an item. Takes a second. And again, this changes all the time. I'm making this video in May of 2020. If you look at this in June of 2020, it might look different. So uh, this this Wix tends to update a lot for for a, you know in a good way though. So. But it usually doesn't change so much that you can't actually deal with anything. Okay, so let's go to our store products. And it should have some default items already built in. Again, it takes a little bit to load sometimes, some of this stuff. All right, here we go. So we've got items already built in. We can do one of two things. We can try and just edit these or just delete them all out and make our own. So I'll show you how to edit the first one and then we can go ahead and create new ones after that. So I'm gonna go here. Oops, never mind. just click it. Click it to edit it. Again, it takes a second to load. All right, so it's got a t-shirt for me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make it into a, uh, a bowling ball. So let, let me just find an image for a bowling ball first. I know it's probably a copyrighted image, but it's just for a demo anyways. Okay, so. Let's just grab something here. I'll use this one here. Uh, save image as I'm gonna put it on my desktop. Okay, so let's just say this is a bowling ball I'm gonna put in my store here. Now, hopefully you have your own original images and you're not gonna do what I just did. <laughs> okay, so let's call this thing a Brunswick uh, 15 pound, or not even, we wouldn't even put it, we'll just put Brunswick bowling ball. 
Okay, and then for images, we're going to, we can remove as many as we want. Again, these are all the, this is the default items. So let's go ahead and add a picture in. It might even be able to allow me to do Google searches, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, you can grab stuff from Shutterstock, things from Wix itself, or you can upload your own. So let's go and upload. And again, links up to Google Drive, all kinds of things. So it's pretty easy to get your pictures in here. And again, I'm just going to use this image just from Wikipedia. It's not very big. It's only 11 kilobytes. It would have been better to have a, a larger image, obviously. Okay, if I need to do any cropping or adjusting, I can do all that here. But I'm going to go ahead and add it to page. And there is my image. Okay, you can add more pictures in if you want, obviously, as well. Let's scroll down. Product name. Okay, so we typed in a name already. It's going to be Brunswick Bowling Ball. The ribbon. I'll show you what the ribbon means. I'm just going to write clearance just so you can see what it is. Clearance. Okay, we're going to put it at... Let's say the bowling ball is going to be $99. And let's put it on sale. And how about we take off 10 bucks? So sale price is going to be $89. I put a ribbon of clearance so you can see what that does. The description. Again, this is you know your description of your bowling ball. So oops. So this is the default description of that t-shirt. I'm going to put that. This is a uh, Brunswick. Bowling ball for a 10 pin bowling. Uh, shoot like the pros. Okay, and you can put whatever your description is, obviously, for your item. Okay, now what else do we have down here? You can add in additional things like a return policy or care instructions if you want. You can do all that. Uh, you can do product options. This is the next thing I'll show you. So for me, what I might have, if it was a bowling ball, for example, I might have bowling ball colors. So I'm just going to put a few of them. I want black. I'll do just black, blue, red, or something like that. Oops. It's got a lot of options already here because of the, uh, the default uh, things over there. So let's put black, red, and blue. Okay. So there's my colors. And I'm going to have actually another one, but it's not going to be size, it's going to be weight. Because in bowling, the weight of the ball is important. You can have 10 pounds, 11 pounds, things like that. So let's do weights instead of sizes. And let's go 9 pound, 10 pound, 11 pounds, 12 pounds. 13 pounds, 14 pounds, 15 pounds, and 16. Okay, so we've got the uh, the weights that I can select. And if i got more things, I can do that as well. Okay, now, you know, if some things are out of stock and everything, I can manage all that, but I'm not really worrying about that. At this stage, I'm just going to show you how to do your descriptions and how to do the pictures. Okay, so let's save that. Didn't take too long. It takes a couple minutes to make one, but really not too bad. I'm not going to worry about shipping or anything like that. Um, there's tons and tons of details if you want to actually ship stuff. And uh, this video, the intention of the video is not to do that. Okay, so I just added one item in. Let's take a look and see what that's going to look like. Okay. So it's showing up right here. Let's actually preview the site so we can take a look at it. All right. So this is what my site looks like right now. Okay, here's that chat thing that was there so we could chat. And there's my item. So the clearance is that little tag that, that remember, I typed it in. Uh, if we click it, we can take a look at our... Um, our items here. Okay, that's a pretty pixelated image. 
Um, and it's kind of cut off, so I'm going to have to fix the cutoff part. I'll show you how to deal with that. But it is pixelated because I took a really low resolution image and I should have had a better one. Okay, we've got our description down here. We've got our price. I can select the color. And I can select the weight. And I can actually add it into the cart, which is really cool. So it's a real working cart. Uh, in order for the cart to actually work, you have to pay with Wix. But it definitely is a real cart and it definitely can work. Um, just right now, I'm not going to be paying for that feature. So it absolutely is a real cart, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we got the first item in there. Let's see if I can figure out how to get the uh, the blurriness out of it. Or the, uh, like it was kind of cropped. I'll show you what I mean by that. It's an issue I've seen before. And let's see here. I think we have to go under the product page right here on the left. This is where the item shows up. See how it's kind of cut off there? Um, let me do this again. Settings on this? Yeah, image scaling. It cropped it. So scale to fit. Let's see if that looks any better. Well, that's a bit better, I guess, but kind of shrunk it. Not sure. I have to try it out. But yeah, if you notice pictures are being cut off, then what you do is you got to get to the, the section that it's doing it on. Go to settings and look for image scaling. Uh, this is not a good example because the picture is so small, but um, that will fix any cropping issues you're going to deal with. Because I've seen that before where things are getting cropped off. Okay, um, what else can I show you here? Let's go back to our main page. So let's go back to our main page. So I showed you how to put an item in the store. So you could re replace these, you could delete them out too. Deleting them is very, very easy to get uh, items out of my store. You just go here, go to your store, and then they generally have the three dots, it's like a little menu at the side. Okay, let me go to store products. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty easy to use, but it does load a little bit. Like it, it takes some time to get this stuff up. It's a pretty complicated website. So all of these to delete them, very straightforward. Just Click that, hit delete, and then they're gone. So that's what I would do. I would, I would delete all of these these sort of dummy ones that are, are put in by default. Get rid of all these, add in your own items, and uh, you just click this new product. That's how you do it. So it's pretty straightforward. Now, I did add a blog in. The blog on my site was actually at the, I think it's at the bottom. So the blog is down here. Uh, it's got three default blog uh, blogs that are added in. If you want to go and do any changes to the blog, you just go into the blog under Manage Apps, and you can add blogs in or delete them out. It's pretty straightforward, not difficult to do. So anyways, this was a little quick demo to show you how I can make a very, very quick website. This is a bowling store for myself, and I made it in about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit less and added an item in and it's really not that difficult so uh, try it out and experiment with Wix and see what you can make with it. It's a pretty easy tool and um, give it a shot.